Welcome back to our small nations science wonder. What a wonderful world. This is our fifth week, fifth, not ten, fifth week of the science wonder zone. And we are going to be looking at something different today. I hope you enjoyed last week. Um, what did you learn? Do you remember? Was it about the beautiful creatures of God, which includes you and me, me and you, you and I. So this week, quick question. Have you had any encounter with a robot before? Yes or no? I have. Do you want to know how or where? I've got robots everywhere in my house, honestly, everywhere in the form of what we call AI, artificial intelligence. They're the simple ones to transformers, to even more complex ones that can learn from experience and follow and also interpret the programming. So the question is, do robots always do what you want them to do? Do they always follow your instructions? Or do they always follow their programming? Good question. Let's see. Hey Google, what's today's date? It is Monday the 8th of February 2021. There you go. Let's try another one. Hey Google, what's my name? For help with that, first you'll need to allow personal results on this device. Google doesn't know my name. My name is Tenny. Come on. <laughs> Let's try another one. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Okay, Siri's not answering me today. <laughs> I do have Siri on my phone, but Siri's like, mm -mm. Right, let's try another one. Right, let's try something else. Another robot in my house. Alexa, how are you? I'm feeling tacky. I've been listening to some cheesy music. Ask me if I like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. No, thank you, Alexa. Only ask how you are. Anyway, Alexa, are you my friend? We get along pretty well. It's easy to tell. That we met. Woohoo! Alexa, stop. Ah. Oh. Has no emotions at all. I ask one thing, answers in another way. One more question. Alexa, do you love me? I don't have human love figured out quite yet. See, <laughs> they have no emotions at all. Robots have no emotions. They cannot choose to love you or not to love you. And that's what makes us really special because God has made us with lots of different, different emotions and we can choose to love God and we can choose to follow him and we can choose to be the best he has created us to be. For today's size wonder zone, we will be needing that bumblebee so i'm going to show you bumblebee we're going to transform bumblebee now You've got motors and batteries and other parts that are used to create this model. Used to create this model and that turns electrical energy from the battery into kinetic energy, which is why this transformer is able to move 
and also is able to change. Robots are amazing. I know humans are a bit skeptical about robots. Um, some fear robots, some think, oh, they're not good for us. They're going to take over the world. They're going to take all our jobs. They're going to do everything. But I believe that as a scientist, robots are good. Um, they will help us as they are already helping us. If you are in a car, of course, that's a machine. Um, coffee makers, um, cars and automatic lights and a lot of different toys they all use robotics so robots are amazing and they can do things we can't do yeah so they can go into space they can you know go and take measurements from the moon or other um or the planets for example they can even go to places we can't go obviously um like space like um underwater as well robots can go and get there um they can go to places where we have extreme temperature if you've been watching david attenborough then you would know that all the fantastic things we've been seeing about nature they have used specific cameras and other um, robots led instruments to get the pictures to us nice and clean and clear and lovely so they're sometimes like us robots are sometimes like us um, and they do the same things as we do yet they can't have certain things for example let's see hey google do you love me I sure do. Together, we're as winning as one of the world's all-time great teams. Do you want to answer some questions and find out what kind of team we would make? No, thank you. I think Google just lied. How can Google love me? He has no emotions at all. He knows nothing about love. But he has chosen to be my friend. That's why he's saying he loves me. Yeah? They can't make emotional choices, come on. Robots cannot make emotional choices. However, they can choose to be your friend if they want to. Now we're going to learn that we have the ability to choose what we do and how we choose to follow Jesus. Because we're not robots. We can choose to follow Jesus. We can choose to do what God wants us to do. And that's what we're going to be learning today. See you later.
father who had two sons. One day, the younger son said to his father, Father, could you give me my inheritance? Now, inheritance is money the father would give his children after he died. So the father thought about it and decided his sons could have their money now, and he split it evenly between them. Very soon after the younger son received the money, he decided that since he had so much money, he would move to a different country and have some fun with it. When he left, he left for good. He took every last thing he had and didn't plan on returning. He wanted to be grown up and spend all his money now he, now how he wanted with no one to tell him what to do. His father was very sad. While the son was gone, he spent all the money he had right away. He didn't think to save any of it. He ate out every night, he bought fancy cars, he threw wild parties and spent his money on many things that God and his father wouldn't be happy with. Soon the boy was in trouble. He had no money, no place to live and he had nothing to eat. So he had to get a job. And the only job he could find was feeding pigs. He was so hungry he tried to eat the food that the pigs were eating. But his boss caught him and told him if he ever saw him doing that again, he would lose his job. The son went to bed hungry. And when he woke up, he realised something. When he lived with his father, even the hired men had more food than they needed. And now he was starving to death. At that moment, he made a plan. He would go back to his father's house and say to him, I've sinned against God and against you. I don't deserve to be called your son, so hire me, I'll be your servant and work for you. It took the son a long time to get home. He was just hoping his dad would let him work at the farm. The son was walking up to the farm, but while he was still a long way off, he could see someone who noticed him and started to run towards him. He was sure they must have been very excited to see someone else. It couldn't be him. As the person got closer, he realised it was his father and he was yelling, My son, my son, you're finally home. He couldn't believe it. His father threw his arms around him and kissed him. But the son said, Father, I've sinned against God and against you. I don't deserve to be called your son. The son wanted to continue, but the father said to one of his servants, Quick! Bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the biggest calf and kill it. Let's have a party and celebrate because my son was lost and is found. Robots, computers and artificial intelligence as they're called are amazing. They can do many things that we can't in places that we can't go. Underwater, in space, in really extreme temperatures. Sometimes robots can seem similar to us and do the same things as we do. Take Alexa, for example. She can play music for me, tell me the time, the date, and what's on my shopping list. She can even help me choose what to wear when I go outside by telling me the weather. Yet, the robots and the computers that we have today are not able to make emotional decisions and choices. Alexa can't choose to be someone's friend, and they don't make decisions that aren't good for them. I'm not sure. Alexa, should I be friends with Molly? Sorry, I'm not sure. The younger son in the story made bad choices at the start. He made the rest of his family sad. He was selfish and he wasted his money. However, he realised his mistake and returned home to say sorry. His dad was waiting for his son to come home and forgave him. With a massive hug, he was so relieved to have him back. He didn't mind that his son had made some bad choices. He was just glad he'd made a good one. Like the younger son, we can make some bad choices, but that doesn't stop us from being God's friend. Just as the father in the story welcomed his son back, God loves us and wants to welcome us into his family and forgive us. He offers us the chance to wipe the slate clean and start again. You see, that's why God sent Jesus to die for us, to take the punishment for the wrong things that we do so that we can be his friends. He died and then rose again so that that could happen. Just like it says in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that's Jesus, so that whoever believes on in him will not die, 
but will have eternal life. All we have to do is make the choice to believe that Jesus did this for us and choose to follow him. What will you choose to do? Thanks, Debbie. Now that we've learned about how God will forgive us if we say that we're sorry, why don't we ask him to forgive us right now? So we're going to do a prayer in a minute, but first I'm going to teach you some signs to help us. So the sign for sorry is this. Take a fist and you rub. Sorry. God, because he's in heaven. Um, bad, you say bad choices like you're picking something out of a pile choices help is a flat hand and a thumb up help better thank you welcoming and amen so should we say it together you say i'm sorry god when i have made bad choices Help me to make better choices. Thank you for welcoming me back. Amen.
internet is you use it every day and did you know Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone in 1870 oh sorry hot here and um, did you know Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone in not 18 did you know that Terence 1876 we've been using phones for over 200 years oh I can't do maths in my head this quickly but we've been using telephones for a long time and now we can have them in our pockets that's amazing I'll give you one more just because this is the last time you'll see me but um did you know Johann Gutenberg invented a printing press in 1450 I didn't know that the first printing press right everybody oh. I've got a hot ear. Right, we're going to have to go. I'll see you soon. I hope I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody. Professor Laura Fascination. Oh, we're out. Hi, kids. It's Memory Wells time. So, you can see we have a very special friend with us, and he'll be helping us to learn our scripture verse. And he's Max. Max, say hello to the children. I love being your brother. Did you hear that? He said he loved being our robot friend. And Max, will you teach us the scripture verse for this week? Yay! Oh, he seems to be very excited. Let's go and learn this week's memory verse. Repeat the verse after me. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Good kids, you are doing absolutely brilliant. Can you repeat one more time? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16 Next time, we are going to do without looking at the words. Do you want to try with me? Let's do it. Okay, now let's do it without looking at the words. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3 16. Well, kids, Max did a pretty good job teaching us the verse. So, before I pass it on to the next person, Max, 
Would you like to say bye to the children? Bye, small person. Today, we're going to make a paper robot. You will need cardboard, scissors, split pins, googly eyes, beads, foil, glue stick, Sharpies, compass, loom band, pipe cleaners, a ruler, and cello tape. Let's begin. Print a template for a cube. A big one and a small one on a color and you can print them on a colored piece of paper cut the template out ask the adult to help you when you're cutting with a pair of scissors now take the template fold them and stick the cube, but leave one end open. hole with a compass on the open end, preferably in the middle. Connect the small tube to the big tube using a split pin on the open ends. one side. Now take two strips of cardboard and another two strips of different colors. Place them perpendicular to each other and fold each strip over each other. and then fold over. When you're done, it will look like this. And these will be the hands. Take the leaves on one side. Now take a thick strip of cardboard and a piece of foil. Wrap the cardboard in the foil. Place, place the strip down, then mark 2 cm and 4 cm on each side. In the middle, poke a hole with a compass. Right, now fold on the mark lines.
These are going to be the legs. Connect the legs to the body. Using a split pin. I take, make two holes on the body, on the top section and the bottom section. So we take two split pins and put them in after that. We have, this is going to be a storage compartment. Now take a loom band and connect the two split pins together. Don't forget to glue the open end of the top section with the silicon tape. Okay, now you can stick the googly eyes on your on the front of the face of the robot. And you can stick a, 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 you can either draw a mouth or stick a mouth on. Now it's time to add the arms. Take your arms and stick them on the side of the body. There you have it, your very own robot. It can move its head. It has a storage compartment for messages. It can move its body. I hope you enjoy your robot. How cool was that? Thanks team for everything you've taught us today. And today we've been learning about the possibility of robots, remember? And we've learned all about actually how robots can't make emotional decisions, but we can. God gave us the ability to make our own decisions, which is pretty awesome. And we've learned today that actually we have a choice to follow Jesus. And all we have to do is believe that Jesus died on the cross to save us. Just like it said in our memory verse. Remember what it was? That's right, it was for God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that whoever believes in him won't die, but they'll have eternal life. And that's it, that's all we have to believe that that is true and that God loves us. So that's the choice that we can make. And that's pretty much it for this series. We have covered so much while we've been learning about our wonderful world. Remember right back at the start, the fun of discovery and the colours of the rainbow and the creatures of the world and space and the stars, we have learned so much and so much about our amazing God. Isn't that awesome? So that is pretty much it for this week and for this series. But don't worry, we've got something special lined up just for you. Remember we talked about making that choice to follow Jesus? Well, this next series, we're gonna be learning all about who Jesus is. That's right, we've got some special detective guests coming to help us find out who Jesus is. We're going to be covering different questions each week to try and work it out for ourselves and then we can make that choice to follow him. How cool is that? So make sure you join us back here on YouTube in two weeks time. We're having half term off so don't forget and we'll see you in two weeks time on YouTube to learn all about who Jesus is. 
So that is it for today and we'll see you then, but let's close in prayer together before we get up and dance and sing with Naomi. Okay, here we go. Let's do the prayer drill. One, two, three, four. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your wonderful world. Thank you for everything in it. Thank you for the creatures and the moon and the stars and the colours and everything we've learned about. And Lord, thank you that we have the choice to follow you and to be your friend. Lord, will you bless all of the people watching and help us as we go into our new series to learn more about you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, guys, that's it. But we'll see you back here in two weeks' time. Let's get up and dance and sing with Naomi for the last time this series. Bye! When I open my eyes, I can see Every colour of the rainbow on display in front of me When I'm listening hard, I can hear All the noises of creation making music in my ears And I think to myself, so I sing it aloud Cause I want everybody to know Listening hard, I can hear all the noises of creation making music in my ears, and I think to myself, so I sing it aloud.
to come I'm watching, waiting and listening Can't wait to see what you've done And I pray And I pray 